Dear learners, welcome back and in this video we are going to discuss one simple program like how we can swap two numbers without using the third variable. So nowadays in QA automation round right they started to ask this simple question. The solution is pretty easy. So now let's take two number. So one is like int a is equal to 100 and another is like int b is equal to 200. Now I need to swap this two number. So which means, so whenever I print A, it should print the value called as 200 and whenever I print B, it should print the value called as 100. So how we are going to swap? So before that, like we need to understand one basic thing. So for example, now I just typing A is equal to 10 and I'm just adding the semicolon at the end. So I'm just trying to print the value of a and if i right click and if i run the program right now the output will be 100 so always the latest value will be stored in the variable so initially the value of a is 100 but i have changed the value to 10 so always the variable holds the latest value. So this is the one key thing like we should have in mind. And pose that like with the help of the simple mathematical formula, like we can easily swap the two number. So in order to swap the two number, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add this two number and I'm just going to store in a variable called as an A. I'm just adding like A plus B. So what will be the output? So obviously, so the value of A is 100 and the value of B is 200 and A plus B, it will become 300. So now the value of A is 300 because as I said, the latest value will be stored in the variable. Then I need to swap the value of B, right? So initially I'm just telling B is equal to A minus B. Okay. So what happened in this line? So now the latest value of A is 300. So 300 minus, so what is the value of B? It is 200. So 300 minus 200, what will be the output? So the output will be obviously 100. So now the latest value will be stored in a variable called as an B. So which is nothing but it is a expected swap value, right? So because the value of A is 100, so now we are storing the value of A is equal to 100 in B. In similar way, I need to swap the another value. So for which, right, I'm just adding one formula. So A is equal to A minus B. So now what happened in this line? So the value of A is currently 300 because the latest value is 300, right? And what is the latest value of B? The latest value of B is 100, right? So 300 minus 100, it will become 200. So now A holds the latest value and the value of A is 200 and the value of B is 100. So now if I just add a sysout statement and if I try to like print this number, right? So now the value will be get swapped. So now the A will hold the value called as an 200 and B will hold the value called as an 100. So even if I change any value, for example, I'm just changing as 567 or 234. And if I try to run this program, right, the swap will happen because we have used the mathematical formula. So either you can use this mathematical formula or there is an one another mathematical formula. So rather than using the addition and subtraction, right, we can use the multiplication and division as well. So for example, for better understanding, like let me just make the value of A as 10 and the value of B as 20. So now instead of adding this two number, I'm just trying to multiply this two number. So now what happened? The output will be obviously 200. So the latest value which is stored in the A is 200. Now what will be the logic we need to change? So instead of the minus right, I'm just going to add the divide symbol. So first of all, I'm just dividing A divided by B. So the value of A will be 200. And whenever we divided with the B, so what is the latest value of the B? So it is still 20, right? So it will be 20. So now if I try to divide this, obviously the output will be 10. So which is nothing but it is the expected swap value. So in similar way, what happened? So what is the latest value of A? It is 200. That is fine. But what is the latest value of B? It is 10, right? Then 200 
divided by 10 so the output will be like obviously 20 okay so now if i run the program so even i am just able to swap the number by using this particular logic so whatever the logic you feel comfortable right either you can use the addition and subtraction logic or the multiplication and division logic so both is going to give the same output so now if you check the output right the value of a is 20 and the value of b is 10 so this is how like we swap the two numbers without using third variable so hope now you guys uh, understand much better i guess but still if you have uh, any more questions right you can use the comment section so where i will be replying proactively so keep learning and thanks for watching this video